Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, we will talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So we have already talked about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and their classification in our previous videos. So please go through those videos. So today we are going to discuss more on non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, so there is a nodal involvement. So there is also extra nodal involvement which will involve any organ and it also presents with constitutional symptoms. So these constitutional symptoms it includes fever, weight loss of more than 10% of body weight and night sweats. So non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is associated with Epstein-Barr virus, human herpes virus type 8 and human T lymphotrophic virus type 1 and some lymphomas it can cause compression syndrome it can compress the airway and cause airway obstruction it can cause compression of superior vena cava resulting in superior vena cava syndrome it can cause gut obstruction and it can also cause spinal cord compression now non hodgkin's lymphoma can be aggressive and it can be it can have indolent course so 31% of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is aggressive and 22% are indolent. So what are aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma? So aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma are diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, precursor T lymphoblastic lymphoma, B lymphoblastic lymphoma. Similarly, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma with indolescent uh, course, they are follicular lymphoma, marginal lymphoma, CLL and SLL, hericell leukemia or lymphoma, and mycosis fungoides. So we will talk in detail about these lymphomas. So first, let's talk about Burkitt's lymphoma. So Burkitt's lymphoma is a mature B-cell type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Whenever there is mature B cell, the marker is CD34 and CD34 will be negative. So when there is mature B cell, CD34 marker will be negative. In case of immature B cell, CD34 will be positive. And B cell, B cell type is identified by immunoglobin receptor which is present on their surface. So they are immunoglobin receptor positive. So they originates from, so the Burkitt's lymphoma originates from germinal center. So the marker BCL6 will be positive. So BCL6 is a germinal center marker which is positive for Burkitt's lymphoma. In case of Burkitt's lymphoma, BCL2 will be negative. BCL2 will be negative. So Burkitt's lymphoma, it is a rapidly proliferative cancer which gives an aggressive form. So Burkitt's lymphoma is an aggressive form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now it has two subtypes, endemic Burkitt's lymphoma and sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma. Endemic Burkitt's lymphoma, it is affected by Epstein-Barr virus. So Epstein-Barr virus uh, infection is more common in endemic Burkitt's lymphoma. Whereas in sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma, Epstein-Barr virus infection is rare. Mm. Now, endemic Burkitt's lymphoma is more common in pediatric age group and it is seen in African. And the most common site is the face, mainly the mandible. Mandibular region is more commonly affected in endemic Burkitt's lymphoma. Whereas in sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma, it is more common in adults and it presents with abdominal mass which is located in ileocecal region. So it is an ileocecal mass. Ileocecal mass is seen in sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma. Now when you do the lymph node biopsy what you will see. So this is a lymphoid lymph node tissue and there these structures are small round blue cell tumor so these are small round blue cell tumor which occupies the lymph node tissue 
So it's because their cytoplasm is scanty and nucleus will be appendant. So the cytoplasm will be scanty. So there is less less of cytoplasm and more of nucleus. So this will give a characteristic sky appearance. So this will look like a sky because of small round blue cell tumor. Now since in Burkitt's lymphoma anti-apoptotic gene is absent. Anti-apoptotic gene is absent in Burkitt's lymphoma so therefore tumor cell undergoes apoptosis. So there will be apoptosis and this apoptotic debris will be cleared by macrophage. Macrophage have foamy cytoplasm which will look like stars. So overall this will look like starry sky. So starry sky appearance is seen in Burkitt's lymphoma. So what happens in Burkitt's lymphoma anti-apoptotic gene is absent in Burkitt's lymphoma tumor cell undergoes apoptosis this will result in the formation of apoptotic debris. Now this apoptotic debris is now cleaned by macrophage and this macrophage will have a foamy cytoplasm which will look like a star which will look like a star and this overall gives a starry sky appearance. So starry sky appearance is seen in Burkitt's lymphoma. Now on peripheral smear or bone aspirate you will see two characteristics finding. One is numerous vacuoles. Numerous vacuoles are present which is filled with lipid. So these vacuoles are numerous and they are filled with lipids and the cytoplasm is royal blue in color. So the cytoplasm is royal blue. So this is all about Burkitt's lymphoma. So let's revise once again. So Burkitt's lymphoma is a mature B cell type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, it has CD uh, and it has the CD34 marker which is negative and immunoglobin receptor is positive. It originates from germinal center so BCL6 is positive and in case of Burkitt's lymphoma BCL2 is negative. So it is a rapidly proliferative cancer which gives an aggressive form. It has two subtypes endemic Burkitt's lymphoma and sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma. And endemic Burkitt's lymphoma is affected by Epstein-Barr virus. It is more common in pediatric age group frequently seen in African population and most common site is face involving the mandible. Whereas sporadic Burkitt's lymphoma, uh, Epstein-Barr virus infection is rarely seen and it is more common in adult and it presents with abdominal mass which is ileocecal mass. On lymph node biopsy, uh, you see a small round blue cell tumor occupying the lymph node tissue and which gives a sky like sky like appearance. Whereas um, anti-apoptotic gene is absent in case of Burkitt's lymphoma which will cause apoptosis. Macrophage will clear the apoptotic debris resulting in star appearance. So this gives a starry sky appearance and on peripheral and on peripheral smear um, or bone marrow aspirate you will see two characteristic finding. Numerous vacuoles will be seen which is these vacuoles are filled with uh, lipids and the cytoplasm is seen which is royal blue in color. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.